What do you get when you pay next to nothing for a guitar practice amp? Next to nothing? Let's find out. Hello and welcome to another video with me, LMJ Carioline, and it's good to have you along. Today we're taking a look at the Harley Benton HB20R. This costs just 69 euros. I mean, it's dirt cheap. This is what the Toman website has to say. Guitar combo amp. The Harley Benton HB20R is a small 20 watt combo that offers everything required for a successful start in practicing at home or for rehearsal sessions. <laughs> uh, a three band tone control and switchable overdrive are included in case you really want to make some noise, while the headphone output enables you to play in the smallest of rooms without disturbing the neighbors. Uh, who cares about the neighbors? And it goes on to say, compact electric guitar combo. Well, it certainly is compact. It weighs next to nothing, just seven kilograms. It has 20 watts of power and it's equipped with an eight inch custom voiced speaker. TEC tube emulating circuit. Uh, it has a switch for its channel selection and a gain control. Volume controls for overdrive and clean channels, so separate ones, a three band EQ, a reverb control, spring type. Headphone output, aux, uh, aux input. Before I go on, I would like to say that this video is sponsored by the good people who support me over on Patreon. Thank you to everyone who supports me or has supported me. It really means a lot. If you want to check that out, there's a link in the description. You get access to all of my music uh, lessons, a bunch of exclusives. And it helps me make these videos where I buy the gear that I review and I can say whatever I think about it. So check out my Patreon, there's a link in the description to that. So what else do I go with? <laughs> so what else do I have going here? I have my custom mahogany strat with Seymour Duncan YJM Fury pickups. I'll also be trying it out with a Les Paul type guitar. I have a Strymon Riverside in front of me, so I'll be using it with an overdrive pedal as well to see how it reacts to that. I've mic'd it up with an AKG C414, and that's it. Let's see what it sounds like. It just said uh, pop and switch channels without me doing anything. Uh, let's see if there's some, the, the, or I don't know if it switched channels, but the power light went from green to red. Let's see. Let's see, I'll turn up clean volume. Okay, so it works. Am I imagining things? I think it was green. I think it said pop and then... Weird. Let's add some reverb. Let's fiddle with the EQ, uh, drop uh, bass, sorry drop treble.
Max that out. Middle. Dropped reverb a bit, max out middle. And bass, drop that. And max that out. And back halfway. Add a bit of volume. So it sounds a bit boxy, but fine, I mean, it's 69 euros, so what do you expect? Let's see what the overdrive section sounds like. That potentially, for me at least, is where it'll fall short. Volume halfway, and open gain a bit. bit of uh, middle and a bit of treble to brighten things up. It's a bit on the dark side. It was a bit much. I'm not crazy about that spring reverb thing. Let's max that out and see what it sounds like. But, I mean, I've never been crazy about any spring reverb thing. It's just me, so... Uh, it's a nice touch. It gives it a bit of something. So it's not completely dry. Let's add even more gain. Let's max that out.
Let's see what it thinks of an overdrive pedal. Let's just add a bit of overdrive from the river side. Maybe give it a bit more bite. <laughs> So this is my Harley Benton single cut 550, swapped out the pickups for vintage style low output humbuckers. <laughs> Drop gain. Even more. Get the gain from the Strymon, so add more gain from the Strymon. <laughs> So what do I say for 69 euros? 
It's, a, it's an okay amp for 69 euros. Um, nothing special. The overdrives sound a bit meh. It sounds a bit boxy. But you can liven it up with uh, an overdrive pedal. And it's not terrible. I mean, it's better than a lot of amps I've tried, in my opinion. Kind of punches above its weight. But would I use it? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> get something like a Roland Cube 10. Or if you can get one of those second-hand old ones, those Roland Microcubes, the original ones. Boss Katana Mini. Uh, Black Star Fly, small one. I think they all sound better than this. But 69 euros. Not half bad. So if you want to watch more of my amp reviews, there's a playlist here. There's also a playlist with some of my music. Please check that out. I hope you liked the video. Click like if you did. Comment. Let me know what you thought. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification thing. And join me on Patreon. You get access to all of my music, my lessons, and a bunch of exclusives. You can even take that stuff for free if you don't want to pay. You can treat it as a trial. There's a link to that in the description. I hope to see you in another one. In another one. Take care. Goodbye.